I'm Bronco, and this is the Card of the Day calendar for Thursday, August 11th. Today is National Sons and Daughters Day. Do them a favor. Take them to a baseball game today. And then do yourself a favor. Stop off at a card store and then open a few packs together. Before you do that, check out all the scores and highlights on the right side of your screen from yesterday's action in Major League Baseball, including a nice win by the Brew Crew. Now on to history, and on this day in 1973, the Mick stars again at Yankee Stadium. Just one pitch after launching a Whitey Ford offering foul into the upper deck, Mickey Mantle hits a home run during the old-timers game. Also on this day in 1982, Terry Felton takes an L. The Minnesota pitcher was kind of used to that, as a 6-3 loss to the California Angels drops his career record to 0-14. The right-hander never recorded a win in 55 Major League appearances, going 0-16 in a four-year career. And he broke Guy Morton's record in the process when he lost his first 13 decisions. You may not recall Guy Morton, because that happened in 1914. Birthdays on this day. Bryn Smith turned 67 today. A friend of those in the hobby as a reliable TTM autograph signer, Bryn Smith won 108 games and pitched to a 3.53 earned run average in 365 career appearances, covering 13 major league seasons. His best season came in 1985 when he went 18-5 for Montreal with a 2.91 ERA. Pablo Sandoval turns 36 today. He was a happy, happy panda in 2011 and 2012 when he made the All-Star team and, in a 14-year career, he won three World Series rings, batted 278, mashed 153 homers, and drove in 639 runs while playing for the Giants, Red Sox, and Braves. He also batted 338 with six homers in 42 career playoff games. And Michael Chavis turns 27 today. The infielder was born in 1995 and is in his first full year with the Pittsburgh Pirates. He's batting 254 with 12 homers and 37 RBIs in 94 games for the Buccos. You may remember his solid start when he had 18 homers for Boston in 95 games as a rookie in 2019. August is 1989 Donruss Month, and today we're going to feature Kirk Gibson. Last night I was checking out some of the great calls in the career of Vin Scully, and the 1988 World Series came up, as you might imagine. I watched Gibby gingerly stroll around the bases after his epic homer in Game 1, and it kind of made me wonder about his career. In a 17-year career spent with four different clubs, he batted 268, hit 255 homers, and stole 284 bases. He was the National League MVP in 1988, but struggled to stay healthy following that magical campaign. In 1989, he played in just 71 games, batting 213 with nine dingers and 28 driven in. He did steal 12 bags, if you're wondering. He also was a world champion in 1984 as a key member of the Tigers championship squad. Oddly enough, he announced his retirement on this date in 1995. Hope you enjoyed the Car of the Day calendar. Go spend some time with your boys and girls. Sports out.